Welcome back. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I, <clears throat> excuse me, what I plan on doing to the next Aspen walking stick. Um, I, I'm going to try to do the silver inlay and uh, I did one. I tried to show it on camera, but with a white wood and a thin piece of uh, silver, you, you couldn't hardly even see it. So I, I kind of did a, a quick drawing of what I was, what I'm going to do. And I'm hoping you can see it. I did it in pencil. It's that little scroll right there. It, it's pretty simple, but uh, I'm thinking it'll look pretty good. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to put a flat on the sticks. I'm going to do one on each side. And the flat's going to be like one inch wide and two inches long. And uh, I'm going to, you know, smooth it down and make it look really nice, not just a big, big flat stick in there. And then I have a, a template that I've made. Uh, you can and uh, I will sketch that in. And now the tools to do it. Um, there are some tools on the market to to work with wire inlay, but um, I can remember back in, in uh, gunsmithing school. Um, make your own stuff if you can. Uh, it's cheaper and a lot of times it's better. So what I have started doing, what I've done in the, in the past in school was I've used old hacksaw blades and I've made scrapers, um, dividers, uh, little punches, um, all kinds of little things to uh, a one-time thing to get something done. Uh, but now I'm going to make the tools and I started with that. That, that's how narrow and, and that's how thin. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, that's, that's how thin that thing is going to be. And I'll put my hand up there, helps any. But that's, that's the one that I use in the more of the sharp curves um, and you have to go at least as deep as the the silver is let me get the silver out of the bag here like I said it, it's not cheap this stuff comes in 36 inch lengths I think I said that before but um, there's the width of the silver and there's the thickness boy I don't know if you know, probably you can so you make your tools as delicate and as fine as you can and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have some leftover uh, rounds uh, and I'm going to make little handles for them. Uh, otherwise, you'd be holding on to this and trying to get it in. But um, that should be relatively easy. Glue them in and have a nice little thing where you can push it in. Um, I use a real heavy magnifying lens on my hood. Uh, to get up just as close as I can because if you get off a little bit and you make a little dent off to the side that will show when you put your wire in and you've got a little hiccup dent sticking off the side in a few places that shows up as black when you stain it so uh, that's what I'm going to try and I've got I don't know, like I said the uh, the hacksaw blade is is really good because they're they're, they're pretty tough, and you can um, sand them down and 
uh, hone them down to where they're just slick. I use 600 grit automotive sandpaper to go over or take it down the final little spot. Boy, I'll tell you, it makes it shine. But what I've got is I've got a old six inch stainless steel rule I never use. So I'm going to take for both, I'm going to do it on both ends, uh, a little bit wider than the one I've got. And then on the other side, what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to make it kind of a curve. So when you get up into the, this part, maybe I can have a curve that's kind of set for that and, and be able to just push it down in through that. Um, that's just something I'm going to try, but I never use this thing and they're tough, boy, they're tough and they're strong and you can sharpen them to a wonderful, wonderful edge. So I'm going to try that and then I'm going to insert that into a, a round and have one end, one of each end sticking out. So we'll see how it works. Uh, I used to be able to make all that stuff in a blink of an eye, but I had uh, a lot bigger shop and I had all the equipment, the grinders and the sanders and all that stuff, um, torches. And, I don't anymore but anyway we'll, we'll go on with that I just wanted to let you know what I'm planning what I'm thinking uh, I don't know what I'm going to put up here yet whether it's going to be grooves or little dots or a, a new type of pattern just to have something up here and then put the, the inlays down here so we'll have to see so I will let you go on this one and I'm going to start making a couple more tools. So we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Well, everyone, we are on uncharted territory here. I have it marked out. I have done one side where I had made the grooves and you'll see what are not the grooves, but the place where I'm going to put the, um, silver inlay uh, you'll see I'm gonna film it uh, and you're gonna see how I go but uh, like I said this is this is really truly uncharted territory I I made the spot for it on the other side and I made the design and I did the work on the design but I didn't put this the silver in it yet I'm waiting to do that on when I get both sides done so when I lower the camera here let me let me lower it down uh, that might be too low here okay now this I just put these marks up here because I was thinking putting three grooves up here and I wanted it you know spaced down halfway decent uh, this is basically the size that it's going to be about an inch wide but then you know I, I cut it straight down make it flat but uh, I bevel it in so it's just not a straight thing uh, and sand it all in and, and make it nice and smooth and it looks pretty good you'll see as I go like I said this is uh, even doing it uh, now on this side is still kind of uncharted territory for me and i've got to got to put my glasses on here don't want the magnifying on yet and here i go i'm gonna make basically there's stop cuts just like make anything else i'm trying to make sure that i get it even with each other here.
Okay, and then I will sand this all down. Oops. And uh, I'll be able to make it blend in real nice with the, the sandpaper and files and stuff. So I'm going to turn the camera off. Got to rest my pinkies here and I got to get that other piece here. So we will get back to you probably tomorrow. I think I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more today or not. My hands are starting to cramp up a little bit. So hang in there with me. I'm trying my best. Well, I'm back working on the silver wire inlays. Uh, I got one side of the stick um, cut for the wire, I guess you could say. Uh, really don't know if there's a, an actual word for it. Uh, but anyway, I uh, started on, uh, on the back side and I thought, well, gee, maybe I better video a little bit of it so you guys can at least see what I'm trying to do. Um, the hardest thing I had was to get both of the spots where I'm going to put the inlays close to the same. It, um, it just, uh, it, it's hard to do uh, for me right now. I I'm, I'm suppose after a couple more of them I'll be all right. But uh, I think I will probably include the video or I took a chunk out, or I shouldn't have taken a chunk, and I glued it back in. It's it's um, it's all right, but it's not like I would really want it. Um, actually, I chipped it. The carving knife slipped out and and hit the very top of one of the grooves and just knocked a big chunk out of it. So, but I'm going to see if I can get the camera down there. Um, I'm using quite a, quite a bright light. Uh, it's actually part of the, the magnifying head gear here, but uh, I'm setting it on. It's magnetic also, so I'm setting it on the vise, and I'm hoping that it'll work that way. But I'm going to get the camera set, and then uh, I'm hoping I can get the camera set so you can see it. And my hands and stuff aren't in the way, and I'm using. I'm using my jigsaw or uh, hacksaw blade and I made the real real fine I made another another one off here but uh, I'm gonna have to get it to thin uh, make it a little bit thinner it's too thick so I'll be using this the whole way uh, I also made one that's a little bit bigger but it's too big so Anyway, let me get the camera set and uh, show you what I'm doing. Well, I'm hoping that the light is not too bright. It seems like uh, from what I can see from the camera, it might be really, really bright, but uh, I'm going to have to go with it. I'm using a round piece of very light poplar. It just uh, is nice and balanced and it's very light and you don't have to hit this very hard to get it to work and like I said I, I'm hoping you can see
Probably going to have to use the alcohol trick on getting the, getting it. Let me get this light off of it. Now, if you can see it any better with the light off, I'm sorry if it didn't come out. But alcohol really fattens up wood, <laughs> I guess you could say. So we'll see if that will work. Might have to do it a couple times. Oh, starting to fatten up right now, but this down here is going to be going to be a tough one. Uh, like I said, the one yesterday really, really went well. you can see it very good or not but this is the one I did yesterday and golly it just just whipped right out I'm hoping I'm hoping that this one will you know the wood will suck back in pretty good once I put the the, the wire in it and it gets it uh, if I can get it to go flush on the wood that's that's real good if it's a little above the wood that's okay because you can file it off and sand it down and get everything right but once I get the wire this here Once I get it down to where it's it's sitting, going to sit, then I'll go over it with alcohol again and uh, see if I can swell the wood up and just have it grab a hold of it. I also take um, fine sandpaper, it's not real fine, but like uh, like a 220 sandpaper and. Uh, the section that I'm going to take, I go along and make long scratches in it, which also helps grip the wood once it swells up to it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, and you leave it all whole, and but well, when I get to to uh, going on this, I will I will tell you how how I do it, how I was taught to do it, and uh, then we will <laughs> we'll go from there and see how good it is. Uh, so it'll be a little bit. I'll come back and uh, we'll get her going. And remember, get your hiking stick your walking stick, your cane, whatever it is you use, and get out there because nature is beautiful. Bye-bye.